everybody. Welcome back to the Skookum Report. This is episode 43, and I lost track or lost count of the episodes back when I had uploaded that song, The Legend of Woolly Swamp, but I think I'm back on track now. So this is the real episode 43. Um, this Bigfoot encounter comes to us from a hunter in California, and it's pretty interesting. And he says, My experience takes place around the end of October, close to the end of deer season, in Alpine County, California, about 1982 or 1983. Myself and three other hunters were getting a last deer hunt in Pacific Valley. We have hunted there many times over the years, however, this time, we thought we were the only ones left in the valley. Myself and a friend of mine were hunting together near the Bull Run Trailhead, about five miles from our camp. And that day seemed odd after we got up the hill because we couldn't hear anything, no sounds, and we couldn't see anything moving. And we both have biology backgrounds, so we always noticed the little birds and chipmunks and everything like that. And we were on the edge of a meadow and had something like a big rock fly over our heads. And we both heard it uh, when it hit the ground. And we couldn't see anyone, and the hair started rising on the backs of our necks. After checking the area, we decided to go down the hill and back to camp. The whole way down the trail, something paralleled us, and it stayed just out of our sight. Every few hundred feet, it would roll or throw a huge rock down the hill alongside of the trail. I dropped to my knee a couple times and swung my rifle towards the area where the boulders were rolling from, but I couldn't see anything in my scope. We were getting a little shook up by this point, and we couldn't figure out what was following us or rolling the rocks. Now, we've never seen any bears while hunting there, and we ruled out the possibility of any bear, you know, throwing a rock at us. But this continued until we got to the dirt road that took us back to our camp. I would say this went on for about 20 minutes or about a mile or so. Now, once we were back in camp, we related this experience to the other two guys. And the rest of the afternoon, we noticed that no animals were around. We always had animals around the camp birds, chipmunks, um, the occasional pine marten. After dinner, we sat around the campfire and were getting our gear ready for the next day. And it was just about time to turn in when from across the creek, just outside of our lantern light, a large tree went down. It was a huge crash. You could almost feel the ground vibrate. Uh, it could have been a natural occurrence. But with the earlier events that took place, we decided that something didn't want us in that valley. And we decided that no one was going to get any sleep that night anyway. So we packed up and we left for home. Now, I've only been back there one other time. And this particular night, I was sleeping in my tent. And I saw something through the tent in the firelight um, pick up my red ice chest and hold it up like it was looking at it and this thing was huge and just i thought maybe it was the shadow from the fire making it look you know oddly large and but it it i yelled out at it and it put the ice chest back down and ran off now i couldn't see what it was and my partner dismissed it as a deer going through camp and he went back to sleep and we never heard anything the rest of our trip but that, that shook me up quite a bit, uh, just feeling like you weren't alone, you know, out there. And one other thing that had happened that we originally didn't feel was related, but after this last event, we definitely, I think, we, I think they go hand in hand. But me and my cousin were hunting in nearly the exact same location as the rock throwing incident. And suddenly we heard this terrible crying sound this god-awful crying sound, and we walked down into the creek bed, and there we came across this deer with a snapped-off front leg. So, in other words, if the doe had walked, or been able to walk, she would be walking on exposed bone. Uh, another hunter was drawn down to the area due to the screams, and met up with us right there, and we all decided that it would be best to um, put the deer out of her misery. And we left the body there for the other animals. 
Now, later on, as we were, we were heading out, we told a game warden what we had come across, and he didn't seem the, least, the least bit concerned, not in the slightest. Um, thought that was kind of odd as well, but you know, after th time after time after thing after thing happened, uh, we just put it all together, and it does kind of make sense when you look at it through the um, the Bigfoot filter, if you will. Now, if you or anybody you know has had a Bigfoot encounter or a sighting and you'd like to have it on the show here, just shoot me an email at skookumreport at gmail.com. That's skookumreport at gmail.com. I'll be sure to get it up on the channel for you, no problem at all. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment and say hi. I'd like to hear how y'all are doing. Enjoy chatting with you guys. Um... I guess that's about it for tonight, and I'll have another one up for you tomorrow. Should be able to. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.